Excellencies, um, distinguished guests, uh, dear colleagues, uh, dear friends, um, I'm very grateful uh, indeed uh, to have been invited to participate in this very distinguished gathering and I'm deeply grateful to the Interna International Association for the Defense of Religious Liberty for this uh, invitation and this opportunity to be with you today and tomorrow. And I'll keep my uh, comments brief in the interests of time. Um, at times like these, uh, when there is understandable interest and concern about the role of religion in society, it is important to be clear about certain principles. And in this regard, we must not set up uh, false distinctions, dichotomies in our minds, and worse still in practice between security, human rights, and that includes, of course, freedom of religion or, or belief. Um, the lesson of history is that ordered liberty, including freedom, religion, or belief, requires security, just as true security requires freedom and freedom of religion or belief, because it is a vital asset for society. Uh, when individuals are free to live out their beliefs in peace, um, it holds societies together. It's a precious asset in that regard for the well-being of society. So security and freedom of original belief are not mutually or should not be seen as mutually exclusive. They are intertwined objectives. And it is this insight, if you like, uh, which uh, was recognized in 1975 when uh, states got together and created the Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, which eventually evolved into the Organization of Security and Cooperation in Europe, the OSCE. And freedom of original belief was identified, was recognized as a guiding principle uh, in relations among states, and it remains the case today in the work of the OSCE. And the right to freedom of religion or belief for all has, as a fundamental human dimension commitment, has evolved significantly in the last 41 years, has become a very detailed, uh, comprehensive set of commitments of any international organization in the world. And these commitments uh, reiterate that freedom of original belief is integral, it is essential to a comprehensive concept of security in all its dimensions, political, military, economic, environmental, and human. And um, when that freedom and that right to freedom is advanced together with other essential and interrelated human rights, assembly, opinion, expression, for example, then we have the basis of true and lasting security. The office I represent, the Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights in Warsaw, is committed to assisting OSCE participating states, uh, civil society, religious and belief communities, uh, to rediscover the mutually reinforcing relationship between freedom, original belief and security. And to, I would say, assist individuals then uh, to make use of their right to freedom of religion or belief as a positive resource for enhancing mutual understanding, respect, tolerance in the world today. Thank you very much.